Well, hey guys, this is one of the genie loads that I usually get up in Washington. This happened to be a uh, North Bend, Washington load, so it's a little bit different than the Moses Lake. Moses Lake, I usually just get these. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like, I stopped in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Nice, sunshiny day. And uh, we've already come from, uh, you know, 2,200 miles or so. Uh, we got about 3,150 all told on the load. But we're going to talk it over. And what's cool about there is they have foam underneath everything up there to protect it. Uh, we always use carpet padding, and that's just boom control. That's all that is, that, that one uh, single strap. Everything will have carpet padding on the front, and it needs a four-point uh, tie-down. So uh, they were going to put it on the other way around and, you know, have it all backed up to here, and then put the other uh, scissors in the back, but you can see how long the boom is. I have a 41-foot bottom, so um, would it have fit? It would have been cantilevered over the back end pretty good. I've got a spread axle, so in Florida, I have to consider that if this all went to Florida, I was 300 over on a tandem setup. When I spread it out, I got 40,000, this tandem is 34. So I was 34.3, so I did have to spread it to be legal. And that's fine, because my first stop, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, I drop one of those, Dothan, Alabama gets that one. Tighten it up, I cross the border in Florida, good to go. I just dropped several thousand pounds of weight right over those axles. That has to be, you know, considered when you're doing uh, a little bit different than a normal 48-foot trailer. So you ha if you have a 53 or 51, you have to look at stuff like that. So let's look at this scissor lift and how we're doing. This was their photograph that they wanted. This is how they wanted it because if you go up, and straight through, then it allows accordion uh, action, and that's not good. So, securement, no movement, that kind of thing. Just want to make sure that you know it's up and through, and then everything's padded, just like you can see. And I carry a whole duffel bag of stuff in, in case of the first video washed of mine. I got so much junk, it's like, oh my god. But anyways. And I always tie my chains in knots. This has traveled 2,200 miles roughly, just exactly like it is. It has never moved. So you look at this one set up to drop fast because it's smaller and it was a little more offset, not as wide. So it had its own chain set up. And I had a special consideration, you know, because there's no chain pocket setups here. Uh, not even any uh, of these. You know, these are for change. Well, that's okay. There wasn't any put over there. It's just because of the wheel well. That's fine. We'll get it figured out. Man, it's a nice day. What? What is that? Oh, wait a minute. That's green grass. What the heck is that? It's been so dang long. <coughs> you know, been traveling a hard winter. It's been 30 some degrees every night sleeping even in you know close to spring well that's fine uh, I just I have a good heavy sleeping bag anyways right down the line everything's good there and everything's good there too now on this side as you can see it's a little different it's got a ladder and in some places there's like there's a minimum of two thicknesses, sometimes more, uh, of that heavy carpet pad, and it's uh, it'll keep it from digging in. But you gotta secure the freight, and the folks have to understand it because there is marks right here. It has tie down, so it's that is designated, and it's also on the photographs of what the actual manufacturer wants you to do. So some of these will have that and it's up and through, up and through, the same thing. Now I remember Mississippi, but I had a longer truck then, so some of the ramps are like uh, 50 years old, 
decry uh, the de uh, dilapidated, decrepit, and uh, concrete falling out. I've had troubles in Mississippi before, so when I get over in there, just as soon as I can, I'm going to be uh, tightening things up so I can make some of these corners a little better. Because um, when the ramps tighten up on an interstate, there, and there, there's no place to go, you know, if you got concrete that's falling off, it's going to uh, cause problems with tires. You're really kind of trapped. So, anyways, everything looks pretty good. I wanted to get this uh, video out also for my agent. Uh, he could have a look see of what uh, what the load does, what it looks like, what it takes to get it all tied down. And I also make sure, you know, there's gaps in between and they all, they load this stuff, so many trucks every day. They'll load you, usually they rolled this one on, they drove it on from a ramp, even a step deck. And uh, so you have to dock it in this particular location. You have to dock it at the other one too, but it's an exterior ramp where they drive it from the outside, not inside the building. A little bit different setup. But on these, they pull you out get you out in the open and then they fork truck this stuff right on the money. And they put guards up on the side rails so they have uh, space markers so they know not to go too far. So when the, once they set it, they set it, that's it, it's done. So I tried to pick a quiet section of the truck stop but it doesn't always work. Looks like I had a little slip through here but it's so tight and everything's so good. At least it's wrapped. This stuff's not going to go anywhere. We're doing the best we can, just trying to keep any marks off of it. It's going to be rental equipment. We understand that, but they want it new. They ordered it new. They're going to get it new. A little bit dirty from traveling, and because I had some snow, and uh, you know, several several states, it was snowing, and so you get a little bit of that slurry on the road, and this, that, and the other. So everything's still looking really good. Had a little bit of a front overhang, and that's fine, because there was still plenty of room back here. But what they're considering is, that's the midway point on the trailer. And most of the weight, they were trying to get it right to the light, to where, you know, you have your uh, ability to uh, scale a, a bit more easily. So, all these things have to be considered. Because it's not so much of what hangs over, it's where it presses down on the trailer. That's where your weight is uh, placed. So that's it. I'm just going to knock this one off. It's kind of a fast one. Guys, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, been a pretty busy winter. Uh, I had to deal with a lot of taxes while at home. I got, uh, uh, I got videos uh, still sitting on the card. I just haven't put them up on, the, on YouTube yet. I apologize for that just trying to deal with uh, well life in general you know it's just the way it goes it's been kind of a tough one but good things happen also I got home to my doctor and got all squared away and uh, got the hell off of a uh, hypertension label and the DOT physical because I lost weight and you probably saw the one video I started doing uh, uh, fruit, uh, fruit smoothies and you know greens and stuff and started making little changes and, uh, you know, I didn't lose a lot, but it was enough to take my blood pressure down. So, um, what can you say? You know, a lot of things trying to improve, constantly trying to stay healthy out here. It's not easy on the road. Um, there's so many temptations. Uh, they're doing better, but you could just sit there and eat pizza and get fat as hell. I don't know. But, you know, I do like my pizza, but I try to supplement it with other stuff. It's all about balance, I guess, so I'm getting off subject. So, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you down the road.